Hey everyone, just a quick blurb here uh, for a couple minutes regarding uh, turbocharger size. I've been getting a lot of inquiries in terms of two specific turbochargers, uh, both the Reaper here uh, as well as the Predator. And this is really from uh, a lot of people in the four cylinder category uh, that has a good high volumetric efficiency head. And the question that they always have is which one is, quote, better? Is it the Predator or the Reaper? And the answer to that is it depends upon what you're looking for. I know that sounds like a really terrible answer, but we found it to be true. This video, we're not going to go about a whole lot of facts and figures. Uh, you've seen the two videos of uh, the specifics. Uh, this is not about that. What this is about, and this is really catered more towards the four cylinder and the six cylinder category guys, is the purpose of the car that you're trying to use it for. I understand that a lot of people don't have uh, disposable income to buy turbochargers two and three different times and that they want to be able to get their best bang for the buck and not have to buy twice. But what I found is sometimes, in most cases actually, that uh, an individual or even a shop will purchase something that's just too large in the hopes that they were going to go for a higher end horsepower when the customer either builds the engine for more power. Uh, or has a different type of knock resistant fuel and so they'll keep this at a low boost pressure efficiency and in many cases outside of the efficiency range way too low and then they find that the car has uh, got a great peak power on the dyno uh, but is very unresponsive uh, when it comes to using it on the street or timed event especially for those that are catered in drag racing the Predator on the other hand is slightly smaller but not too small in which uh, now you're looking at a direct bolt-on and an upgrade over the T3, T04E series of turbochargers uh, and even an upgrade to the Surfer in which they want a bit over uh, 450 to 600 wheel horsepower with this. Slightly smaller, bit more responsive uh, on the street, especially transient response in between shifts, but not as impressive on the dyno unless you push a lot of boost pressure for it. So what happens is they won't choose the Predator, they'll choose the Reaper, knowing that the Predator is actually the better choice for their particular driving needs, simply because of the fact that, yes, you run a bit more boost pressure, it doesn't stress the engine anymore, especially if it's tuned properly, but you get a bit better power band and range of use than, say, with something larger. So let's look at the quick differences, though, between the two other than the obvious here. First, TO4S is standard uh, for the Reaper. Portage Shroud is an option. TO4E for the Predator is standard. Portage Shroud is an option. The exhaust housing for the Predator uh, as a standard can either be in a T3, T31 format with a 0.63 AR or 0.82 AR. For the Reaper, only the 0.82 AR is the smallest T3 size that you can get. Why? Because for the purpose of this particular turbocharger, 99% of the people that are going to be in the market for something like this are trying to be able to uh, use it for a uh, street strip purpose, drag racing, especially in the four and six cylinder class. And in some cases for larger six cylinders to eight cylinders, they want these as twins and once they want the larger T3 set up anyway. The other difference is turbine wheel. There's only one turbine wheel size that's available for the Predator. For the Reaper, there's two of them. And the reason why is because, again, the purpose of this is a bit more drag race oriented and for those that have some options. There's a slightly smaller 70 millimeter when a standard here on the, on the Predator. The Reaper has either a 71 millimeter size or 74 millimeter size turbine wheel. So the reason we have these particular options, again, is so that it's catered more toward the individual's choices. That doesn't mean that everything has every option, but if you start changing exhaust wheel options and housing options to a degree, especially on smaller turbochargers like the Predator, well, now you're looking at change of behavior. And then all of the characteristics that we're looking for in this particular turbocharger have changed in a way that might be negative to a point where you go, well, maybe I either should have gone with a slightly larger turbocharger like the Reaper or even something smaller like a Silver Surfer or TR3030R. So that's really the point of this video. Five minutes, nothing big. 
please be careful when you're deciding which is for you. If you have questions, please go ahead and email info at speedtrapconsulting.com. Be more than happy to be able to at least help you narrow down which of something like this would be able to be your needs. Thanks again for listening, of course. Happy boosting.